Let's talk about a drug called tosophensine. Now, tosophensine is a drug used for weight loss. Originally, tosophensine was being studied for in the treatment of Alzheimer's and or Parkinson's disease, but a lot of those studies were attenuated due to the fact that a lot of these patients were losing a substantial amount of weight. Now, if you know anything about Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, well, these patients tend to lose a lot of weight anyway. So it kind of confounded the studies and a lot of the researchers wanted to identify whether or not, hey, did they lose weight because of the disease process or did they lose weight because of the drug? So it does turn out the drug actually in fact does elicit weight loss as it was in fact studied in obese patients and over a year's time frame, on average, some of the patients are losing about 10.6% body weight. Now, if you compare that to most anti-obesity drugs, most anti-obesity drugs elicit somewhere in the ballpark of about 10 pounds uh, of weight loss over a year's time when compared to placebo. This drug is classified as a serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine reuptake inhibitor. So when someone takes this drug, what it does is it reduces the postsynaptic losses of these three neurotransmitters. In the hypothalamus, that's where this drug really exerts its effect in terms of feeding behavior and satiety. So in the hypothalamus, there's a rich source of alpha-1 adrenergic receptors as well as serotonin 5-2C receptors. Both these are responsible for regulating food intake hunger, satiety, like I said. Now, this drug increases the availability of norepinephrine to saturate the alpha-1 receptors. Thus, that's one of the ways it induces its anorexic effect. Furthermore, dopamine is also implicated in feeding behavior. And in the hypothalamus, there are dopamine receptors. And as I mentioned earlier, this drug is a serotonin norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitor and it prevents the losses of dopamine. And dopamine is responsible for drive, motivation, um, and pleasure and reward. Pleasure and reward, or those are one of the things that you experience um, through feeding behavior. Lastly, in terms of side effects, it does have stimulant-like properties, so it can cause xerostomia, constipation. It could have you a little upregulated, maybe a little anxiety. Um, also, it can increase your blood pressure. Uh, the literature shows about one to three millimeters of mercury on average, as well as increase the heart rate on average by about eight beats, eight-ish beats. Um, prazosin is an alpha adrenergic blocker medication. So therefore, prazosin could actually offset the benefits or offset the actual mechanism of action of this medication. And lastly, um, there's some studies showing that this drug is actually being paired with metoprolol, which is a beta blocker, because as I just said, it could possibly increase your heart rate and or your blood pressure. So therefore, a beta blocker like metoprolol will help mitigate that. Also, if you're on something like a calcium channel blocker, that may be something that can also lower the heart rate and or possible blood pressure elevations that this drug could possibly, uh, could possibly introduce.